licensed esthetician and I'm going to talk to you how I took my skin from this to this and this to this. In the first pictures, I'm about 39 years old. And in these pictures, I am 42. And I do wanna say in both scenarios, I have had a very consistent skincare routine. I never miss my nighttime or daytime skincare routine. I wear sunscreen every single day. And I, in both scenarios, am using ingredients like vitamin C, retinol, and exfoliants. But you can see in my before pictures, my skin looks much more dehydrated. Look at these paper thin lines here that you're not seeing as much here. That's a sign of skin dehydration. I also have a lot <laughs> of hyperpigmentation that has been very clearly resolved in the after photo. I'm going to show you the first picture again and show you that one dark spot. This dark spot here, and then I actually have one in my eyebrow too that you can see, you can barely see, I mean, it's pretty much gone, and the same thing with the eyebrow. Vitamin C for daytime for me is a non-negotiable, so I love mixing this vitamin C booster. It's an L-ascorbic acid and ferulic powder, so it stays nice and stable, and I mix it into my Dramatically Dewy Serum. And this to me is really the star of the show. This is the Go Pure 30% Vitamin C Dry Oil. It uses 30% THD ascorbate, but it also has a clinical compound that uses licorice root, marshmallow root, and rice bran. And the clinical data on both of those is really amazing at improving the appearance of even very stubborn dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and even melasma. This product is very versatile and I love using it as a spot treatment. I do not use it in the same routine as the vitamin C booster. So I'll either alternate different days for these or I will just choose one or the other. And then something that is super, super important is using sunscreen. Um, I started seeing better results when I started using a sunscreen with a tint. So always use sunscreen 30 plus. I love the Glow Pure Tinted Mineral SPF. I love that it's 25% oxide and it has a tint. Now for my nighttime skincare routine, using a retinoid makes a very big difference for dark spots and hyperpigmentation. I know we talk a lot about how retinoids help with lines and wrinkles, but it also is a very integral part in a routine when you want to target visible dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And I use niacinamide every single night with my retinoid. I love niacinamide. It's also great on exfoliation nights. And I have used this 10% niacinamide booster. I am obsessed with it. It has also visibly reduced the appearance of my pores. Cause so you can see I have visible pores here, <laughs> much less visible here. So I love this 10% niacinamide booster. And I do want to say that you can use this 30% vitamin C dry oil at night too, and it does work in retinol routines, which I know sounds controversial, but this specific type of vitamin C can actually be paired with retinol and retinoids. And I have very sensitive skin and it works for me. So I absolutely try and use this at night at least three to four times a week as well. And as always, I do want to say that these results did not happen overnight, but I really started to see the biggest difference. I feel like in my skin, especially in the last year when I integrated in the vitamin C booster, where is the dramatically dewy, the dramatically dewy serum and the 30% vitamin C dry oil. And then I will make another video talking about my dark under eye circles as well. And what I did around my eyes. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.